It was broad daylight when the suspect just walked right in the front door, walked right on over to one of the first most expensive bikes in the store, hopped on and walked right on out. Just too much, just too much that people have that much gall and nerve to just take something that doesn't belong to them from a nice shop that's just trying to provide a service. This is a mom and pop business, especially mom. Uh, this is not a big corporation. You stole from us. We can't get reimbursed from anybody. It's our, it was, it's part of our livelihood. The stolen bike worth nearly $3,000. It's tough on me, but I can only imagine how tough it is on an individual who scrimped and saved to get a bike. Eric Serna was one of those people. I hear my name being like screamed, like somebody was just getting like mugged. Um, apparently it was me. I just didn't know it. The very next day, a suspect stole his electric bike during his shift at a restaurant. It was Eric's main form of transportation, how he got to work and how he's helped his family. Because like my mom is not doing so hot with both her and my stepfather being really close to passing. I just like it's it's been the grind time. Now he has to save all over again. Meanwhile, Jerry Simon is on extra high alert. It seems like there's probably a small ring of people that are doing this. So if you took this bike, just remember we worked hard for it and you should too. The Lafayette Police Department did confirm they are investigating. I'm still waiting to hear back whether or not these two incidents are related. Reporting in Lafayette, Britt Lavasso, KLFY News 10.